IFRA 16 leases, initial measurement of the lease liability. IFRA 16 paragraph 26 to 28 deals with the initial measurement of the lease liability in the books of the lessee. Again, this initial measurement needs to take place at commencement date of the lease. This lease liability will initially be measured at the present value of the lease payments that are not yet paid by the lessee at that date. These lease payments include the following. First of all, fixed payments, including in substance fixed payments, less any lease incentives receivable. Be careful. Lease incentives received on commencement date is deducted from the right of use assets cost price. Any lease incentives receivable by the lessee from the lessor at commencement date is deducted from the initial measurement of the lease liability. Also included in the measurement of this lease liability is any variable lease payments, but important, only those variable lease payments that do depend on an index or a rate. If it's a variable lease payment that's not linked to an index or a rate, it is not forming part of the lease liabilities initial measurement and will be treated as an expense when incurred. Next, any amounts that are expected to be payable by the lessee under residual value guarantees is included in this initial measurement. Any exercise price of a purchase of option, if the lessee is reasonably certain that it will exercise this option, and any penalties that will be paid for termination of the lease if it's reasonably certain that the lessee will exercise this option. So this is the theory you'll find in IFRA 16 dealing with the initial measurement of the lease liability. If we, however, try and summarize what we're working towards, we'll deal with this. Under a lease agreement, we need to measure a lease liability. That represents the present value of the amount that the lessee still needs to pay to the lessor. For purposes of that calculation, we therefore, therefore need to get to a present value. Part of the variables included in this agreement can be the following. Over the lease term, there can be certain payments that the lessee needs to make. Also included in these variables can be a possible future value like a residual value guarantee amount payable, a final payment that the lessee needs to make. Another variable that is important to consider is your lease term. We already spoke about the lease term, whether you consider extension options or not, so you need to get to your lease term. And all these payments and future value now needs to be discounted back to get to your present value using an applicable discount rate. So this is all the variables you can expect for purposes of determining this present value of the lease liability. Class example seven will now illustrate some principles that needs to be apl applied for purposes of determining the payment variable that is required for purposes of determining the present value of the lease liability. So the first scenario we're dealing with is in substance fixed payments. Meaty Limited leases an abattoir from Nigli Limited in terms of a lease contract. It is a lease brief for 16. The lease contract specifies that Meaty must pay an amount of 500 Rand per hour of use with a minimum 
annual payment of 750,000. Meaty Limited expects to use this abattoir for 2,000 hours per year. For purposes of determining the payment variable, the 750,000 represents an in substance fixed payment per year. That is fixed. This amount will then be included in the initial measurement of the lease liability. So that would be the input for the payment on the financial calculator. Meaty Limited will, however, pay an annual amount of a million, consisting of the 500 rand per 2,000 hours. The difference between this annual payment of a million and the fixed annual payment of 750 is considered to be a variable payment because it relates, the difference relates to the number of hours that the abattoir is being used. This variable payment is not dependent on an index or a rate. The index or a rate is something like an inflation rate or a CPI index or something to that effect. This is not a fixed index or a rate. Consequently, this variable payment of 250000 will not be included in your payment amount. It's not part of your payment amount, but it will be recognized as an expense in profit or loss as the abattoir is used. Scenario 2 also highlights this variable payments. Uzi leases a store space in the shopping center from Atti. The contract is a lease. The lease contract specifies that Uzi must pay an annual lease payment calculated at 2% of the annual sales of the store. It does not specify a minimum fixed amount. This lease only contains variable payments and they are not based on an index or a rate. 2% of an annual sale of stores, annual sales of the store is not an index or a rate. Consequently, Uzi will measure the lease liability at zero because we do not have any payments meeting the definition of IFRS 16 lease payments and the annual lease payments that Uzi makes to Ati will be recognized as an expense in profit or loss.